Hi everyone, it's Steve Gale from Marine Max at Pier 66, and we're on board our beautiful 120 foot Ocean Alexander at the Miami Boat Show. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough and uh, hope you enjoyed the tour. We're on the aft deck right here, and beautiful setup with a with a refrigerator, ice maker refrigerator, nice walk up bar with a sink, and as as a fold down television that folds out of the ceiling. And as you look aft, you'll see plenty of room for seating around our beautifully done inlaid table. Giant warping windlasses on the on the uh, corners. For, for tying up at the stern, and then we'll take a walk through the interior. We have pneumatically opening doors, and follow me in. We'll take a look inside. Beautifully done. This uh, this interior was done by Evan Marshall, uh, famous uh, English yacht designer, and uh, it's very tastefully done, classic contemporary style. Uh, this, this vessel was built overseas, and you can see the craftsmanship is over the top. Just beautifully done walnut veneer floors, beautifully inlaid marble and stain with stainless inlays. Beautiful handiwork. Tons of storage in these lockers as you first walk in. And we're going to have a 60-inch uh, a television fold out of the ceiling here. Press a button on, this, on, an, on an iPad mini, and your AV system's controlled here. As we walk forward, formal dining to the port side. Big sliding glass doors that open, lots of light, natural light coming in, flooding in, and a ton of storage forward. See everything is chalked. Exactly. Beautifully done. We're on the main deck. We're going to walk forward. There are staircases that uh, lead down to the lower staterooms and upper staterooms. Uh, upper sky lounge, excuse me. Galleys to our port side and crew quarter access through here. And the galley is a, it's really a chef's galley, wolf oven, wolf induction stove top, wolf microwave, sub zero refrigeration, commercial uh, hood that, that will exhaust off the side of the boat, commercial dishwasher, trash compactor, garbage disposal, really nicely done stainless Blanco sink. And then here are two huge Sub-Zero freezers within the galley area, nice informal dinette, and then a lever wine cooler. So crew has access through the side deck. They don't have to walk through the boat. They have access through this door here on the port side, as well as on the starboard side. Pantry area here. Our cleaning supplies. We're just getting ready for the show, and then crew access is through the through the staircase, captain's quarters, and then uh, plenty of room for six additional crew. And just a sumptuous full beam master on deck. Plenty of closet space. Cedar lined accommodations, full length mirrors, very nicely done. And then as you head forward, his and hers heads, full size jacuzzi tub, and then toilets are in their own closet space. It's a fully automatic toilet.
Our TV folds down out of the ceiling. Press of a button. All the AV on the board of the boat is operated by iPad minis and uh, integrated with the high definition uh, satellite television systems. So very easy to use. You're, you're utilizing a small iPad in each of the staterooms to operate all the, the AV equipment on board. Very well done. Again, more closet space here. This and hers closets. And then your other head is forward here. So we'll head back aft. This is our day head on this level. So we're outside of the master now, just off the galley. We have a solid slab of, of marble on the floors. It's, it's just really well done. And then off to the port side here is our, our commercial galley. And just very well done. Tons of refrigeration, all sub-zero refrigeration. Wolf oven, wolf stove top, induction top. Wolf microwave, range hood, trash compactor, have a dishwasher there, Blanco sink, beautiful leaper, uh, wine chiller. You know, we're still in the process of setting up our table here, but we do have a dinette here. And then huge sub-zero freezers up forward here on the right. You know, this, this boat is set up for cruising. So crew has access through a, uh, a wing door on the outside here on the, on the port side. They can go down the side deck, bring in groceries without disturbing anyone on the salon deck. And the crew staterooms and accommodations are forward of the galley here. So they can enter, enter the, the vessel, go down to their accommodations without interrupting anything that's going on in the salon. Let's uh, take a walk up to the next level. Going up to the, uh, the Sky Lounge and Helm deck. And I don't know another 120 that has the, the kind of accommodations that this boat does. It's just, just a tremendous volume of space. Here we are in a Sky Lounge. I've seen, uh, I've been on 125s and 130s that don't have the volume of interior, exterior spaces that, that this boat does and, and that are finished at this level. Beautiful walnut floor. Again, it's own separate satellite receiver, AV systems. All the doors are pneumatically operated. You press a button, they open and close automatically. Full wet bar here. Another day head here. On this level, you don't have to go down below to use the head. setup, three stid electric chairs. There's a remote control for all the Garmin screens right in the handrest, built into the handrest of the, the armrest of the uh, stid chair at the center, the captain's chair. And giant displays behind the Garmin screens here. You have three of those screens, so display, you can move, move your navigation or your closed circuit TV cameras, you can move them from screen to screen, it's all operated with this remote control here. Boat has zero speed stabilizers, which are electronic wiper controls, Jastram steering, our windlass controls, our MTU control panels, 
our bow and stern thruster controls, all hydraulic ABT track. Oh, here's our stabilizer control, ACR, remote spotlight controls, Octoplus. All, all of our electrical systems on board are, are, and tank systems are operated with these Octoplex screens. You can turn lights on and off in different sections of the boat, look at your tank levels. Everything is directed on these screens. We have multiple screens on board this boat in different locations. As we go back aft in this stateroom, you're going to see the, the, the AV rack where all our satellite receivers are located. We have plenty of room for storage here as well. These are all individual satellite receivers for each of the staterooms and, and uh, entertainment areas. And then our, uh, our uh, video amps and, and uh, audio amps are here as well. Our track vision uh, control center is here. So everything's in one place. This rack, two screws, the whole thing will roll out on wheels and very easy to access for, uh, for adding additional room, adding additional receivers. There's room to add additional receivers if you choose to. And then uh, the system is a KDH-11, which, uh, which is usable anywhere in the world. You just have to have the right receivers for different parts of the world as you travel. And let's go back out on this amp deck. Again, tons of storage all along the, the, the wherever they, the factory can give you storage, they're opening up panels, opening up dead spaces, and creating storage. There's a little hang locker in this in this compartment, and it's it's cedar lined. Sky Lounge level, a huge entertainment area here. We've got an ice maker and refrigerator built in. Our 3,500 pound fully hydraulic davit with a rotation and boom, all hydraulic on this deck level. We have some exterior lounge furniture set up for the show. And then, of course, a beautiful dining table that's permanently affixed back here. We have entrances to the staircases that go down to the lower main deck and then up to our third deck. This is a tri-deck motor yacht. And we're gonna, we'll take a walk up that staircase and show you what we have up on top. Wow, what a party we're gonna have up here. This is, this is incredible. Great new lounge seating here, storage all the way around this upper flybridge wide open spaces, beautiful view, and then aft, sun lounges, and a fully functioning hot tub we don't have filled yet, but it's a, it's a nice deep tub, and it is self-draining, so any, any water that comes over the edge is going to go right back into this trough, right back into the tub. So, gorgeous hot tub, and then a double, double electric grill out here as well. The brakes aren't in yet. Stainless, very, very well. Ceiling detail. That wall is backlit, so I'm going to make it all the way out of the room. It's really well done. And then if you can uh, just take a peek forward, you'll see we're going to go down to this other level. Walk forward. We have our sun shades out right now, and we'll, we'll see all the seating and, and uh, entertaining area that's just forward of, uh, of this. Uh, this area right here. is stored in a recess on the inside of the superstructure. Very nice, clean installation. There's a cover that goes over the top. And then our fuel fills, both port and starboard, 
our recess in the hull side here on, in the superstructure side as well. So nice clean installation. just forward of the, of the pilot house. Beautiful Portuguese bridge, seating all around. A couple of sun lounges. And then all the way forward, beautiful sun lounge area, right at the, right at the back. No space wasted at all. Those are Maxwell 6800 hydraulic winches. Two of those, obviously, that handle both anchors. Under this cover, we've got wing controls, activation panels here, starts and stops, our bow thruster controls, and then our uh, throttles and clutches. Our dining room's to the port side here. Another deck fill for the fuel, so you don't you can fuel from either side of the boat or both boats, both sides at the same time. You're holding over over six thousand gallons of fuel, so it can take some time to get the fuel in the boat. It'd be nice to be able to put two two uh, lines of fuel in the boat. Back out to the aft deck, and from here we'll go down to our beach deck and engine room entrance, and we'll take up we'll take up. Beach deck. We're going to walk through here quickly and, and go start in our engine room, and then we'll, we'll explain what we have out here in a second. So you have two entrances to the engine room. One's from the main deck level down a vertical ladder, or through our transom door that, that's hydraulically operated. We're walking into an electrical room. Our Atlas control. Come on in, go it. Get in. I'll close the door behind you. Behind me is our, our Atlas controller for our electricity. So any, we can go anywhere in the world on this yacht. 50 cycle, 60 cycle, low voltage, high voltage. This, this Atlas converter will convert the frequency and clean the electric so we have good electric coming into the boat. Whether it's 50 cycle or 60 cycle, it'll correct that. Our electrical control panel is here for the, for the, for the shore power, for the generators, and for our Atlas converter system. In the engine room now, You'll see our twin 16V2000 MTU 2600 horsepower engines. Beautiful, quiet, smooth, um, just the, the best of, of, of the, this class of motor. Really, it's best of German engineering. Very, very well done. And at the back of each of these motors, you'll see our, our PTR for our hydraulic stabilizer system and our hydraulic system. So stabilizers, thrusters, windlasses are all driven off of these two PTO units and an electric backup motor. So when we're in zero speed mode, we have an electric motor that's driven by our 80 kW generator that will operate the stabilizers when you're at rest. Okay. And then we have chill water air conditioning on the yacht. All the compressors are lined up here on the side for service. 1,800 gallon per day water maker. You can see the main unit there. The membranes are here. There's our hydraulic steering reservoir, separate from our stabilizing system, separate hydraulic system for the steering. Main sea chests are here for the, for the mains and generators. Our fuel polishing system is here. You can set a timer, clean fuel in the storage tanks move fuel through the, from tank to tank, from storage tanks to day tanks, 
and a manifold system is very clearly labeled and outlined with our schematics that are, that are engraved on this belt head. So, see our secondary main fuel filters on the engine, secondaries are on the walls, our, our, our generator fuel filters as well. Just a very well laid out air conditioning in here, but it's nice and cool in here right now. And then our, our waste is also treated uh, before it's, it's sent overboard. We have an Ecomar waste treatment system on board as well. Okay. Now we're back in the electrical room. We'll head out to the to the beach. And what a great area to entertain from. Where here we are on the beach. We have a full galley set up here, refrigeration drawers, and it is stocked already, thank goodness. So we have beverages, a wine chiller, have snacks out here, great place to, to, to utilize and have access to the water. Um, and it's an air-conditioned space, beautifully done. Lounge area, it's all done in umbrella, so it can withstand the elements. And in this cabinet, we have a pop-up TV. This TV will raise up and lower into this cabinet. Or it can be viewed with the doors open as well. So, very, very well done. The boat's completely painted in Alexiel paint. Um, it's the finest, finest yacht coming from Taiwan today.